It's beer o'clock on Reload Craft Beer. I'm joined by Chris, Reload 140, and we have a beer that a few months back I was in Chris's house and I seen this bottle on his shelf uh, by Beaver Town. I wonder what it was. Uh, lovely and colourful. Really wanted to try it. Great artwork again, you know. Again, that great artwork from Beaver Town. And he's come around today and shared these with us. It's the Beaver Town. Holy Cowbell India Stout. Now this is the beer that I seen on his shelf in his kitchen, and it was that. Form. It was in bottle form, but it was that that caught my eye. It was about I don't know three foot away, four foot, and it was just that crazy cow picture on the bottle. That I thought, wow, yeah. what's that? It's yeah, everything they've done in a bottle in a can. Their artwork is brilliant, and it's enough to just it. And what they've got behind it, and you know, we know that, and anybody who's drunk any of their beers will know, is that behind the artwork, the fabulous artwork, is generally a very, very good beer. Yeah, yeah, it's not, it's not all upfront artwork. It's starting with yeah. no substance. Uh, exactly. Yeah. The beer backs it up generally. It's five point six percent ABV. Not had an India stout before, so this is three new styles in a row for somebody who's drunk nearly two thousand beers. Crazy day. Mm. Um, Cheers, Chris. Cheers, Jim. Let's get it open into a glass, see what we get. So, a can condition cans. Get a little bit of fizz off the top there, you can see that. Do you prefer craft beer in a can, Chris? Well, I think in ideal situations, I prefer it in a bottle. But you'll have seen a video I did a long, long time ago which compared a a, a punk IPA in a can to a punk IPA in a bottle and what I ended up with was two different coloured beers and the one that was good was the one in the can because cans by their very nature keep out the sunlight, they're yeah. more sealed you know, you're more likely to get a good experience with a can I think than you are a bottle so in an ideal world a bottle but realistically a can is going to provide you with a great thing and I love the fact that they can condition in these, this yeah. isn't just like a anodyne experience of canned lager or, or beer or whatever. This is the full on effect. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah you know, totally. It's not a half measure. No. No. Um look at the head on that. Yeah. Great looking beer. India stout. Now I've not I've not put my nose to it. I'm just kind of looking at the beer. I'm I'm guessing it's a, kind of an India pale ale stroke stout, so maybe black IPA. Black IPA end of things. I yeah. Mean, the descriptions are so woolly these days, aren't they? Yeah. What, you, what you really get in it is it a black IPA? Is it a white stout? Is it? Yeah. Yeah. yeah so yeah, they've got to call it something. Yeah. Yeah. I, I think I quite like the name India Stout. Mm. It, it kind of it makes sense. Yeah. It's not trying to be a black IPA where you hide the malts and you just want to taste a gold nail. It's an India stout, so you're getting hoppy and the stout characteristics coming in in one. Well, we hope. We hope. We hope. Let's get the aroma. Cheers. Don't yeah. give an awful lot away on that. I don't think. You get the you get you get the the dark roast kind of. Lots of dark ro roasted malts. You don't get the, any bang of hops in there. I don't think. I'm picking up a little bit of grapefruit. Again, like like the beer we just reviewed previous, I think it's going to be all in the taste, this one. Yeah. Let's dive in. Ginger. Cheers, everyone. Oh, yeah. It's really good. Really good beer. ABV? Oh, 5.6%. Creamy, it's everything Boddington should be. This, this, this beer hits so many sweet spots. Yeah. It hits that lovely creamy mouthfeel, just enough carbonation to swill it around, just enough head on it just to make you enjoy the head, and everyone enjoys a bit of head. Everyone loves a bit of head. Mm. It takes you back in for a second sip really quickly because mm. you just want to get into that. You just want to. Yeah. Yeah, you want your mouth back in there. You gotta get your tongue into the head, just give it a quick flick. You know, it's good. It's good in so many ways. The, it, it's luxurious for me. Mm. It's, it's, a, it's a. You know the old milk tray adverts on the mm. telly? Um, it was all about. I'm looking at the lace in it. Yeah. 
It's this black magic. And yeah. The, yeah. This is a man in a black suit diving off a cliff just to give it to a bird. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's what this beer is. That's exactly what this beer is. Um, it's got a lovely mouthfeel. It's nice, that carbonation as well, it, mm. it, it cuts through that lovely mouthfeel. Yeah, burning at the right moment. Mm. Just precisely at the right time. <laughs> Taste wise, then, lots of stout flavours your chocolate, your yeah. coffee, caramel. And then a lovely hint, it's more of a hint, mm. of, of American hops. Yeah, yeah, I don't know, I guess Chinook maybe? Probably somewhere, so, somewhere along that lines. Cascade. Or Cascade, Chinook, maybe some Centennial, that, that, that sort of... Mm. I'm not saying uh, they all taste the same, of course, I'm just, I'm just saying because it's a stout, it's, it's quite difficult to exactly pinpoint that hop. Yeah, yeah, because it's part of the story. And this is the key, yeah. it's only part of the story, yeah, yeah, everything else is a little, you know, the big lead up, and you're so tight, in, you know, accustomed to that part of that story that you build up is, you know, the crescendo, if you will, mm. is is the hop, but but it's not your abiding memory of taking a mouthful of this beer. Yeah, I've had a few of their beers in cans. Um, the Gamma Gamma Ray, absolute highlight. Yeah, fabulous. Really good beer. The Neck Oil is a very good beer. Yeah. Um, but I would firmly put this. Slightly behind the Gamma Ray, I think this is a fabulous beer. Really good. I love the Gamma Ray, mm. but I would put it higher up the tree. Really? Yeah, yeah. Mm. I think for me, Gamma Ray's... I'm going to go straight into the rating bit. Yeah. Gamma Ray's a nine and a half. This is a 9.75, I think. Yeah. yeah. This is a wonderful, wonderful beer. Yeah. Uh, well, well, you can see. Look at look at the way the, the beer's yeah, lace in the well glass. Well-conditioned, isn't it? It's, yeah, just rocking that beer back and forth. And, and can you imagine, those of you, I don't know how many of you are watching this channel now that, that might do it, but those of you who pour a, a bottle of Bud or a can of Carlin into a glass and then watch it all disappear and like nothing. Yeah. yeah. This is in a can. It's in a can. Yeah. Not for, no, let's not forget that. And it's an amazingly conditioned beer. Yeah. Brilliant. Great stuff. Great stuff. Well, look at that. There's a, a, there's a little bit of yeast there. Look at that. There, there he is. So you've got actual live living yeast in a can. It's fantastic. I mean, if they got it wrong and put too much yeast in and too much sugar, the, the, this, yeah. this thing is likely a bomb. Yeah. So you've got to get it right. Yeah. You can't get it wrong. No. Um, so again, it's, it's craft. Yeah. It, it's art. It, it, it's everything about this is a, a, a masterpiece. Yeah. So, final thoughts, you've given a rating, and just, just cover it again, yeah. final thoughts and a rating from you, Chris. It's a lovely beer, I think for me, yeah, like I said, it hits sweet spots, the 5.6% sweet spot is a great one for me, because um, it's a beer that, in a 330 can, yeah, you, you don't drink to get drunk, but if you popping beer down into your body, you know, there's a little bit of a feeling you might want to get off it, you might want a tiny bit of a buzz, that's okay, you know, none of us are drunkards, yeah. some of us are sometimes, you know, but that's okay too, but the 5 to 6% for a smaller person like me is great in a 330 because it's like drinking a 4% half a litre beer, you know, and no, nobody wants to do that if it's horrible, this gives you the same hit, but with masses of flavour and it's great. And I would quite happily sit down and drink just one of these overnight. I'd be happy as Larry. Yeah. Um, for me, it's it's a fantastic stout. It's a fantastic India Pale Ale. It, it's just a combination of the two. Uh, work wonderfully well. 5.6%, as Chris said, we're both quite, we're not the tallest lads in the world. Uh, we can fit a few of these in on a night, mm -hmm. um, not feel too unpleasant yeah. in the morning. Um, plenty of flavour, plenty of bang for your buck, nine and a half out of ten for me. I don't have a half finger so I won't, won't raise my hands today. But thanks for Chris for joining me, um, it's been a real enjoyable kind of experience, it's been, it's been a while, we've not done anything for about three or four months, but I've got to get him on the channel more often, um, he's a great I like bouncing ideas off Chris, I like... Um, well, one of us has got a mouthful, the other gets a chance to think, I think that's the key. Yeah, 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 it's nice to... 
when we, it, it, if you watch our first ever review we did together, it was the Bira del Borgo um, Real Ale, or Re Ale, and it just kind of, we just met, the kid, the, literally, our wives met in the park, at the kid's birthday party, um, they invited us to meet, we met, the next time I think we met, it was in Chris's garden, and then the time after that was here, we reviewed the Real Ale, extra from Bira del Borgo, and it just worked. We are a little bit shy off camera, obviously you don't know each other, mm. but then as soon as that camera went on, it was two people with the same interest, mm. and that is beer. Being enthusiastic. Yeah. yeah, craft beer. You can do this as well. You go and do it, make your videos, make yes. your YouTube videos. Do it. Great um, community. Thanks for watching, put your comments in the comments box. Please subscribe to our daily beer reviews, and cheers.